hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see how we can access chat gpt from our python code okay so let's get started so uh, first of all let me introduce this chat gpt so this chat gpt is a is a variant of gpt3 model okay if you don't know that you can just search this is the uh, this is the product of uh, open ai so you can do search for uh, for the other things for this uh, chat gpt i think most of the guys know about chat gpt because it is now trending uh, thing right so if you want to explore then you can go in this website openai.com and you can just uh, try it also from this uh, website okay so now what we will do uh, like uh, this is the repository like this terry 3041 has created the wrapper of uh, uh, python sorry open ai chat gpt api okay so with help with the help of this library we can actually access this and there are also other ways to access this open ai chat gpt but uh, the the one way was or one way is uh, the like uh, to install open ai and then we can access the chat gpt with the help of the key okay api key of uh, that open ai okay other thing is like we can also uh, do with this way so what i'll do i will follow this uh, this uh, repository instructions and i'll do the required things okay so now first of all uh, before going ahead you have pip install in your pc and also python is mandatory in your pc right so if you don't have those things then you can download python first okay so python uh, comes with pip uh, package manager so uh then you can start with this uh, things okay so now what i'll do i will just open my cmd and uh, i will uh, install this pychat gpt okay so i'll just install this so let me zoom it out okay and i'll just uh, paste that command pip install py pychat gpt okay so this is the command and uh, now it is uh, installing pychat gpt in our pc so wait for some time so now uh, i'll just uh, try to explore more things here so after installing we can just uh, we can just uh, write our code right so i'll just open my visual studio code and here i'll just create a new file let's say i'll just save the file name as code.py or or uh, chat.py something like this right chat.py okay so now this is looking fine okay so now uh, let's see our library got installed or not so it is still in progress so now what we will do after our library uh, will get installed then we need to write some uh, some code so we just need to import that uh, pychat gpt okay so as you can see that library got installed so now what we can do we can just import that so from sorry uh, i'll just copy this and i'll just paste that here so from pychat gpt we need to import chat gpt okay so after installing this pychat gpt you can access this chat gpt class okay so now what we can do like we can go ahead so as you can see we also need one session token here right so and uh, we can also uh, like uh, log in with other things we have also some other authentication related uh, things here so we can also log in with this means we can also authenticate with this thing with we can also authenticate with our uh, email id and password but what i will follow i'll follow this first way so i'll just copy this and uh, i'll just copy this two lines okay i'll just copy this two lines so i'll just copy and paste that here so i'll just uh, remove this for now okay this comment and here we need to add a session token okay so for that you can go i like you can log in into your account of chat gpt and uh, here right click and in, click on inspect okay and then go in application and then you need to search for cookies here so as you can see in this cookies i'm having this chat.openai.com okay here as you can see like we have session next auth token so you need to click the click the value of and you just need to copy this value okay so i'll just copy this and uh, i'll just paste that value here so i'll just paste that value okay so 
మేక్ షూర్ లైక్ లైక్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ ఆర్ రైటింగ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ మేక్ షూర్ యూ హ్యావ్ లైక్ యూ ఆర్ నాట్ సెండింగ్ దిస్ సెషన్ టోకన్ టు ఎనీవన్ రైట్ సో దాట్ ఆల్సో క్యాన్ యాక్సెస్ యువర్ అకౌంట్ సో మేక్ షూర్ యూ టు లైక్ యూ డో నాట్ షేర్ దిస్ థింగ్ ఓకే సో నావ్ after uh, accessing that session token i'll just assign that to session token variable and then i'll just pass that session token to this chat gpt class okay uh, okay so then we are uh, will go ahead okay to the instructions and uh, here we are having several uh, authentication methods so you can also uh, check this out okay but now we uh, we are having that api uh, access in uh, variable access so now we are here right so now what we can do we can just uh, uh we can just send the message so what i will do i will just take the input from the user and then i'll just uh, like assign that uh, that uh, user input to the uh, send message uh, function okay so i'll just take the input so let's say uh ask me ask me i'm i am your your chat gpt okay so something like that i'm just uh, uh writing okay and then i'll just assign this user input to uh, some variable let's say user input okay uh we don't need to write this we will just write underscore here and then what we'll do now we will uh let's copy this okay and i'll just copy this here and i'll just instead of this hello world uh i'll just uh, assign that user input here okay and that will give us the uh response okay from chat gpt so now we can also also print the like a message key of that response here okay so here we are just uh, printing that uh, response what we got from the uh, this uh, this uh, this response variable okay after calling this uh, send message function okay and then this this is for like to reset our conversation let's say if we are we are going in this chat gpt uh, page then here we have uh, some some option let's say clear conversation so we can also create clear the conversation for this particular uh, conversation we can also delete this okay so this this uh, options we are having here so you can you can also use this options so i'll just paste that option after uh, printing my message okay so now what we'll do now we can just uh, run our program so now we are good to go with our code so now i'll just run this program okay so now i'll just uh, run this program so i'll select python file and uh, now i'm hoping that i'll get some user input uh, okay so it, it is saying no module pychat gpt so for that issue I've, i found one uh, like blog post from this uh, a github page that is saying that we need uh, to upgrade our python version to 3.11 so i have already i had already python 3.11 so i just switch switch to 3.8 to 3.11 and now i will just Im- install that uh, so if i'll say python then as you can see we are having python uh, 3.11 version currently okay so now i'll just uh, use this so i'll say python a uh, minus a pip install and that module name so that is uh, pychat gpt okay uh, yes this pychat gpt so i will just paste that here and i'll just install this library so now it will get installed okay then we will try again our same thing okay and uh, uh, like while it is getting installed i'll just uh, try to explore this so if you if you don't want to use this session authentication token as i mentioned then also like you can just uh, paste your email id and password here and uh, you can just use this api variable and you can uh, use this to send this message to the api okay so now it got installed so now we need to uh, again refresh our code so i'll just refresh our code and just run this program again and now hopefully will not get this error again so now it is taking some time so it is calling that api so it will take some time okay so let's wait for that and uh, <clears throat> now 
now we as you can see we got ask me i am your chat gpt so now i'll just uh, say uh, tell me uh, current current weather weather uh, let's say not i'm asking weather let me ask tell me current prime minister of india okay okay and uh, i'll just press enter so as you can see that uh, like it is saying list out of bound uh, list index out of bound okay so now let's go back to the page and uh, let's say what it is uh, it is uh, taking okay so now let's say we will convert this into a list i think we need to convert uh, this user inputs into some kind of list okay so let's say i'll just uh, add this list here as you can see i'll just uh, try to use this with a list so i'll just run this uh, again so we can ask any numbers of uh, questions and we can just create a list and we can just pass the uh, list okay and uh, again it is taking some time and uh, now uh, it is again asking ask me i am your chat gpt bot i sorry i'll just ask that question again like tell me current uh, prime minister okay uh, who is current prime minister of india okay i'll just press enter i hope this time we'll get the response so as you can see that it is giving us the answer that as of my knowledge cut off date of september 2020 the prime minister of india is narendra modi okay so cheer up for narendra modi and also for uh, this uh, pi chat gpt library i hope you understood the thing uh, the thing was like we were not installing python 3. Point uh 11 version which was the updated version which is uh this uh, library supports okay and also uh we need to pass a list instead of the instead of one particular uh variable okay so we can pass uh, uh numbers of fashion in one list and we can just pass that so yeah that's all about this i think you understood the concept how we can use that into our python code so i'll see in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye